Yeah, so wherever you guys want to start, we'll just follow the contour around. Four for bushel, do her ten times again. <laughs> and try to try to stay out of the trap rows again. Count inside, right? This right now. Yep, the ones in the pods too. You bet the loose ones, the ones in the pods. And if they're loose, it means they probably went through the machine. <laughs> but the machine isn't going to get everything all the time. If they're still in the pod, might have had some problem getting yeah, picked up. Right yeah, yeah. Okay. yeah that's too big. There's three in that one. Five. Can I have a five? Yeah. At four per bushel, so just a hair over a bushel. Look what we have here. We are here with Potosi's Ag Engineering class. And uh, they're out here just, I guess, what are you guys doing? Uh, we're out here doing some harvest loss calculations on some soybeans. Okay. So what are some of the um, formulas that you're using to calculate <clears throat> what the loss is? Well, essentially we're just, we're looking to find out bushel per acre and uh, yep. If you sit down and do that, um, the average bushel of beans is about 150,000 kernels over that 43,560 square foot of of uh, per acre okay. gives you somewhere around four kernels per bushel. So, and that's per square foot. So we got our little yep. square foot. Uh, we're just chucking up and down this field ten times. I'm just gonna do the average of and what we'll you find. We'll just take the average, yes sir. And then we got uh, cash price on beans. I don't know, somewhere around 8.47 is or so. I think that's the number I picked. Okay. So we'll take it to that at the cash price of beans and just see how much, uh, see how many bushels and how many dollars you left out here. Mm -hmm. Most of them are in the pod though. Yeah. Yeah. I only found two outside the pod. Okay. You guys been bouncing back and forth between corn and beans too, yeah. like everybody else. Oh yeah. Yeah. Yep. They're calling for rain now, so right. as right. soon as it starts raining, we're gonna have to go back over to corn. Oh sure. Yep. I haven't gotten any of my beans out yet. It's looking like it's going to be sometime in November before we get to that. Oh, so. really? But the price then is better. Oh, sure. Basis. Yep. Thirty-four. Wherever you Just keep are. working around the contour. You bet. That's poor dog now. <laughs> so as long as he doesn't grab it and run away with it. <laughs> yeah. <coughs> that must be Rocket then. Oh, yeah. Yeah, okay. The real star of the yeah, show. Yeah, the real star. <laughs> Bad toss. Bad toss. No, it looks like good toss then, if that's it. There you go. On that last side. Rocket. Have you done an, another place too? Uh, not as far as beans. We did some corn yesterday afternoon. Oh, really? Yep. I'm trying to skip over all the boring stuff and once again just make the stuff the applicable stuff. Yep, engaging yep, stuff. Yep, yep, exactly. I mean, I, I'm hoping they learn a little bit about corn production and whatnot in other classes. And then this is the one where the whole goal 16, is to, to make them apply it, make them make decisions you off said you got it. 10, so. I said six. Mm -hmm. oh, 16. All right, we got to calculate up our average bushels, stuff. and then we'll uh, <laughs> take that at 8.47 for cash price, and then uh, figure out those averages. Can we do it here, or we got to go and do it on the hood of the car? 
Under the car. Truck. It's a pickup. Under <laughs> the truck. Yeah. Under the truck today. Pickup. I joke when you tell them everything they taught me in River Falls. They said we want you to be able to do everything you need on the hood of a pickup. That's where you should be able to manage your farm. So I always tell them that that's where we need to be able to do our math and our calculations on the truck. It's not a bad philosophy because I basically <laughs> live out of my truck. Right. right. You left eighty-one dollars and thirty-one or thirty-one cents per acre. That's what you got, on average. Mm -hmm. How many bushels is that? Then, all right. Nine point five nine nine. Nine point five nine nine point six bushels to the acre lost. Hmm. I think that one place might have skewed our results just a little bit, but that's the, the whole. That's far when that's going to happen. Oh yeah. <clears throat> If you fill up both of these green carts, they fill up a semi? Yep. Well, I take that back. This one holds 630. The other one holds roughly 450. And the semis vary on how much they'll take. Mm. Right out of the field, they can take anywhere between 11 to 1,200 bushel. But um, if you're loading like out of the bins, they have they can't haul as much. So it, that's closer to 1,000. So from the field, usually we take a dump from the combine and just top off the semi that way. What's your favorite tractor to drive? That one. <laughs> or that one. I always, it's kind of 50-50 for me. That one's fun to drive, but this one's comfortable to drive. <laughs> <laughs> What'd you get for your average? $81.31. Mm -hmm. Do you have cameras on the arms end to see how full they are? No. I, w I would like to, but it wouldn't take too much. All we'd have to do is run a wire from the cab up to the arm, but... What I can do is, if I want to see in, all I have to do is just attach my GoPro to the end of the auger, and I can just see it wirelessly. <laughs> well, you'd be times. the man to ask. I mean, we've talked about technologies and apps and everything what else. I mean, how, for your average, how what has that done for your farm, huh? do you think? Nine point six bushels? What is, for your farming practices, yeah, technology. To, I think it's helped us, especially like with the yield monitor, especially okay. knowing what it's yielding where, sure. what areas need attention, and what it, areas don't need so much. Nine point okay. five. So. Is it like nine point five? Yeah, nine point five two five for bushes for loss, and eighty one point thirty one for dollars for loss. Okay. So, what are some things that we could do to improve that? Good question for that man. <laughs> Can you give me some examples? Pray for not wind damage. <laughs> <laughs> that too. What about what we saw out there? Like when we saw where that some of them stalks were tipped over, and there was a few seed or a few pods left on the bottom of the stalk. And then it was, I mean, we only really had that one spot where there was that big spot, but there was there was a couple other little spots like that. Yep. What can you do as far as harvest goes? As far as combine management, so on and so forth. Didn't you say something about the flex head? About how like it didn't flex as good? Yep. Things? Proper management of like your bean head, making sure that it's riding the ground correctly. And that's what we've been working on today was the bean head. Make and sure that speed. it Yep, and then that's the other big one, slowing down. Because the faster you run, if your head isn't running fast enough, it's gonna start tipping the stalks over and you're gonna be pushing them back out. So until they make them like dust bites and you'll be able to go. <laughs> yeah. yeah. They do that. Some about people the real Yep. Okay. Yeah. All right. Yep. But yeah, 30 inch rows are really handy sometimes, and then sometimes they're just a little awkward. Yep. Sometimes snoots on the edge of that. Definitely. You know, that head, so. All right. Yeah. You guys got any questions? Nope. No. My brother was out here and had a lot of fun. <laughs> yeah, a lot of fun. All right. I'll see you, Bart. Don't worry, All right. I appreciate you guys coming out. All right, thanks for having thanks us. Thanks for letting us come out. Oh, yeah, no problem. Thanks for coming. <laughs> yeah, thanks a lot. Really appreciate yeah. it. Thanks for letting me shadow you guys. No problem. Take no her problem. easy. You too. Oh. Good luck the rest of the year. Thanks.